during the roll call. And um, what I'd like to discuss um, this time is um, basically focus on um, the, our response to um, the Christine comment on the ICG, and then also um, SLA version 2. Um, those are the two things that I'd like to discuss. Um, anything else that uh, people want to raise um, at the call today? Um, if not, um, let's start with action review, so our meeting notes. Um, I'm aware that I'm currently holding a couple of uh, meeting notes, uh, so I think um, I'm still, um, I still need to um, get back to Herman about the previous two meeting notes, and if there's anything else I'm missing, uh, please let me know, and I'll make sure to get back to you uh, within this week. So apologies for this. Um, and then um, update on communications plan. Um, so from the last call, I think um, Nurani has shared this plan from the RIR comp team where they are planning to um, come up with a draft of example response as a numbers community on the ICG or public comment. And um, and then I think this is still under work. Um, so I don't know when this is going to be ready. I don't know if anybody from, well, I don't know if either Nurani or I don't know, possibly Paul have any updates uh, related to this. If not, um, I'll just follow up with the RIR comms team on when this could be um, available. And we probably want to um, target this to be ready within this week for um, to give sufficient time for our community members to be able to make use of this um, draft and then um, submit their comments to, um, to the ICG. So I think that's the major point that I have regarding the communications, and oh, I see hand from Nirani. Hello, everyone, and sorry, I was a little bit slow in responding to you, Zumi. Um, and if I understand you correctly, your question was about this sort of this general draft that um, like a, that people could uh, that could be made available for anyone to copy and and use as submission to their um, to the ICG, is that correct? Was that your question? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, well, uh, I think I believe that that there was a first draft uh, circulated, and it's waiting actually for our comments on it. Uh, and um, as in, I think circulated to you and me and the other RIR cons people. Um, and I think I will try to get, give my response. Um, this week to that, um, and I think that was a very, very general sort of uh, text, just saying that we need people to respond to the ICG, and um, and I think that um, maybe we could work a little bit more on that text. I think there's certainly a few principles that we think that that most people in the number community uh, ascribe by. So uh, if if we could try to work a little bit more on that text, I think it will be more uh, helpful as well to those who want to use it. But I agree that we need to do it, uh, if so, by this week. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks very much, Noreen, for this update. Yes, um, now my memory is back that um, this is um, waiting for our response. So possibly maybe we can um, actually um, share a part of our draft response, especially around um, question 12, that's a general observation. And then um, some of it is maybe a little bit too detailed uh, for um, a general com um, community member to comment. But if we can extract some of the core points and then maybe leave it to um, the RIR comms team to brush up the expression, um, that might be a, a, a somewhere to start. Oh, I see um, hand from Paul.
Sorry, no hand. I was just I was saying yes to, oh, right, to right. what Nirani right. okay. had put, put forward. Okay. Sorry about the first start to the no, confusion. No, no. Okay, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry about you know putting you into attention. Okay, no, fifth and great. That's uh, so we're all in agreement and um, so we we're all on the same page. So um, so let's try to um, target to share this. Um, to the community within this week, while it does depend a lot on um, how much time the RIL comms team can um, give in this as well. So I think that's around the communications that's relevant to the group team. Um, and I'm also aware that um, there's preparation for the video, for the messaging and things like this. But I think if there's anything more concrete that needs to be shared or um, consult with the team, um, um, Nirani, myself, will keep you updated. So um, I think that's around the communications plan. And if there's anything else that people would like to add? OK, um, then let's go to um, update on the IPR status. So um, I think uh, I can't remember the status in the last call, but the, the current our latest status, at least, is that um, CWG um, has had their meeting. And I think the current direction that um, this um, moving towards is that um, they try to be um, consistent with the number community proposal. Uh, so they would actually um, agree, try to reach a consensus um, towards a general um, criteria of the IPR being held by an organization independent from the IANA functions operator. So this would include the IETF trust as a possible option, but uh, at this stage, I think they, they try not to um, specify a particular organization, and this, the idea is just they just set the criteria as the very broad general criteria, and then um, the specific of which particular organization will be holding the mark is left up to the details of implementation. So I think that's, um, that's what um, they're seeking for, and I think that is um, what the ICG observes as being consistent with the number community proposal. And I, I've shared this observation with the Chris team, so we have actually I'll state it to them that this indeed would be consistent with our proposal. And another update I'm, that I'm aware from the CWG discussions is that I think they tried to come up with a little bit more um, bullet points on what would be the criteria needed for this um, organization holding a mark. Um, and I think CWG is working on them and then plan to share this with um, the other two operational communities, including ourselves. So we would be expected to um, share our feedback on those criteria. So we might want to be, um, want to start thinking um, from our perspective on what is the criteria needed for this organization in parallel as well. So, um, so that's what I have regarding the IPR, and um, I'd like to see if there's anything else that people would like to add, or any questions. Ronnie. Thanks, Azumi. Um, I think that we, um, it would be, I think it would be a good approach if we started putting together our principles um, and uh, so that we're not only put in a position where we comment on the CWG um, point, just like the, just like with the Sydney analysis. Of course, they the the Sydney analysis was from a names perspective, looking at risks or possibilities for the names community, um, and it's a little bit, you know, it was a little bit odd for us to comment on it because it, there was a whole range of other um, factors that it hadn't taken into consideration. And um, if I guess what will happen, uh, I think the same thing will happen now with the CWG looking at what is important for the names uh, community, uh, which is normal, right? So I think it would be good if we could put together some of these principles, some of the principles we know, because that's what led us to the ICF Trust. 
um, and some of the principles we might need to sort of discuss and see where are our boundaries, what what does that mean uh, in terms of what end solution will uh, end up with. Um, so, yeah, I'm not proposing who, <laughs> but it'd be great if we could even uh, start that as possibly as a discussion on the mailing list or if, uh, if someone wants to volunteer perhaps to, to start looking at that. It'd be great if we have our own set of principles to, to publish uh, as the CWG uh, does the same. Yes, so uh, very good point, Norani, and uh, it's, it's very much in line with my thinking as well. Um, so that was also my intention by meaning, you know, we might start want to start considering in parallel. Um, so maybe um, if let's see, if there's there are any volunteers willing to um, draft um, coming up with bullet points. It doesn't have to be a single person, and I see hand from Paul. Um, I think we're happy to take a stab at this, uh, if, if you'd like, unless somebody else is dying to do it. <laughs> I mean, you know, we're happy to give this a go. I, I see the Excellent. value in this. I really do see the value in this, and, and you're right. I mean, we should we should have a good showing as, as the others uh, would, and I, I think that um, we can put together something and, and send it to the list if, if everybody agrees that. Excellent, Paul. Um, that would be really, really helpful. And so if there's anyone else willing to join Paul, um, please express and um, yeah, thank you very much. So that's wonderful. Okay, um, so I'll, I'll leave this to you, Paul, um, and then it would be great if once we have the bullet points can be circulated on the Chris team list. And so currently we don't have a specific um, plan for the the collaboration call with the CWG um, about this, but um, I would be expecting that um, there might be a suggestion for a call um, once they have come up with some criteria. So it would be really good to have this uh, ready. Yeah, so thanks so much. Okay, so um, can someone need some I, I hear some sound. Thanks. Um, so and so, let's move to um, 2D update on the Chris team comment to the CWG. Okay. Sorry, Izumi, can I just stop you for a second? Sure. Mm -hmm. Sorry, because I, I apologize. I'm jumping in, but I'm typing into the thing, and I don't think you saw it. I just wanted to know: do you, Would you like to give us a deadline? When, when are you expecting this by? Okay. Oh yeah. Sure. Um. Um. How about? within next week, by the end of next week. There's no hard let deadline because there's no specific time that we we have a call or anything. But I think okay. it would be nice to have it ready, like, you know, um, early. And then if it's too long, then we might forget. So that would that sound like a reasonable um, time? Yeah, I think we can have this by the end of next week. And was there and and Ronnie's taken the question right out of my mouth. Was is anybody already telling us when they're going to publish theirs, or do Not we know that I I know of from um, from the last um, um, CWG meeting um, notes. I, I don't know. Okay. Okay. All right. So there isn't any firm deadline from anyone. We just want to have this done before you would get into a call with the CWG folks, and you think that by the end of next week is good enough? I think so. Yes. So okay. uh, it might be That's clear. To, it might be good to check the schedule of the CWG because it could be quite likely that they would have something ready um, by the next call or something. So let me double check. But then let's let's keep the deadline as um, by the end of next week for now, and then let you know if there are any changes um, immediately. Okay. Uh, so thank, thanks for this confirmation and. Um, so then let's go to um, the Chris team comment on this ICG. 
So I apologize for um, extending the initial um, plan for sharing to the global list, um, but I felt that uh, both myself and Nurani felt that this was needed and important, that uh, we actually brush the combined response, you know, take a look at the whole questions and whether it's, um, you know, what we're saying is uh, has a good balance between the focus on the numbers community and then also touch on the other two functions so that we actually give the impression that we don't just think about the numbers community perspective only, but then, you know, give support for the combined proposal as well. So the latest um, draft I, I circulated a couple of hours ago, um, which with the Word file with the date of today and the latest version is um, version 4. So I've reflected um, Andre's comment, um, and uh, well, uh, let me ha uh, let me refresh my memory and what are the things that I've added um, uh, from the version that I've circulated um, at the end of last week. So um, my, I think the biggest thing that I've added is um, I've. I have to look at the actual file, actually. Um, so maybe I'll quickly cover uh, how I've reflected the feedback from Andre. Um, so first, about the comment on um, whether we express it as um, overlap or incompatibility, um, I've reflected that regarding um, question two. So I think the point was that rather than saying the overlap, that would imply the overlap of the functions. Uh, it's better to say that uh, we don't um, observe incompatibilities. So that's reflected. Um, another thing is um, yes. Um, so on our observation regarding um, that there's no compatibility on the PTI, that's also a response to question two, is um, we have said that there's, we don't observe any compatibilities, and I actually raised a question to the team list whether we want to give a condition on we don't observe any compatibilities given that the PTI will, you know, um, maintain the same functions that they do today under ICANN or something like this. And then the current state is that, is that we don't add anything. We, we don't give a condition because we already say that um, this is covered by SLA. And then from our perspective, as long as they meet the SLA criteria, we don't really care too much about the details of how the PTI is run and things like this. And I think that was based on feedback from Andre, and I thought that was a fair point. So that's another thing to highlight. And then um, the third thing I'd like to hear your comment is um, regarding question six, which um, is which asks uh, about whether the proposal maintains the, um, the resiliency, security, and um, I can't remember the third point about the DNS. Um, and then our current um, response covers the general observation about the uh, DNS itself, as well as on the um, INN numbering services. And this is based on the broader interpretation of the word DNS, um, because NTIA's announcement um, often refers to DNS. They use the word DNS, but they actually mean the INN functions. So in our response, we're covering both the purely DNS um, aspect as well as um, um, the impact on stu um, security, stability, and resiliency of the INN numbering function. So um, I don't know if you feel that we should cover both or we should just focus on only the DNS aspect and not to mention anything about the INN numbering services. So this is something that I'd like to ask if anybody have any um, comments on this. So the current version, the latest version, covers both the DNS and the INA function, um, the INA numbering services. Do people feel strongly about either point? Let's cover both. Um, so that's feedback from Nurani. Um, if that works for everyone, um, I see hand from Andre. 
Hi, well, hi. Thank you, Nurani. I, I have no problems with covering both. I just uh, read a bit odd because the the question is really about the DNS. Um, I, as I said in the, in my email, I feel uncomfortable covering the whole DNS. I think that's the main point. Um, and um, I think with regards to the overall DNS, I don't know the proposal, CWG proposal, accountability proposal, good enough. But I think. Um, there's some pretty fundamental changes being introduced. Uh, so I wouldn't be very comfortable saying for the overall DNS that we are um, happy and um, think that it will not impact the stability at all. Um, I think we should limit this to our particular uh, delegated zones in the ARPA and IP6.ARPA um, when we comment on that. Uh, yes, but with regards to covering both, no problem, it just was a little bit inconsistent with the question. Thanks. Um, time from Nurani. I, you know, I, I, I certainly understand Andre's point. I am, I sort of think from a numbers perspective, I think it's fine for us to, to comment on the IANA functions and say that there's nothing in our proposal changing this. Um, I, I also think it sits funnily, but it did in our proposal as well. We sort of, you know, we tried to answer this question in our proposal and ended up saying, you know, uh, this, our proposal doesn't upset um, any of these things. Um, but I actually agree with Andre about uh, basically what we're saying here is, is the first part is commenting on the overall uh, combined proposal, right? Which means that we are saying that we are, we feel that the CWG proposal maintains the security, stability, and resiliency. Maybe we can't do that. Um, if that was your point, Andrew, then I think I probably agree with that. Um, I think for the other things where we've commented on a, on a broader way. Um, have been quite comfortable to at least say something, you know, in general that we can't see anything odd here or it's been developed in a sort of uh, bottom-up way and, and supports the sort of general multi-stakeholder um, model, et cetera. Um, but maybe the, as individuals, maybe we are competent enough to comment on the CWG proposal, but maybe we are not as the Chris team. I'd be quite happy to, to hear what others think of this. Yeah, thanks, Nurani. And um, before I go to Andre, let me just uh, share the current status. So um, I've tried to incorporate Andre's feedback. So I think the latest version that I've, I've circulated actually um, says that um, this is focusing on, uh, so we, we observe um, no impact um, on DNS um, in relevance to in the other ARPA and IP6.ARPA. Uh, so, um, so that's that's the latest um, version, and let's go to Andre. Thank you, Zuming, and thank you, Narani. I mean, for articulating my point uh, uh, very well. So, yes, that that was exactly what I was trying to say. Uh, I think when we uh, before we start preparing this proposal, I think there was general agreement. We look at the combined proposal, of course. But we are looking at this from the numbers perspective. So we're not specifically endorsing uh, specific components of other communities, right? Only when they relate to numbers, right? And therefore, I think when we can limit the scope, and in this case, I felt the scope needs to be limited, uh, we can comment on the DNS stuff, but not on the overall thing, because uh, quite honestly, um, I think that's just uh, beyond our remit. Yeah, thanks, Andre. And I also really agree with your point that, you know, uh, particularly regarding DNS, um, they actually made like uh, some changes in the process um, that there will be no organization approving um, 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 the update as NTIA does. So I think we want to be careful about um, how far we, we comment on this. So um, it would be great if you could all take a look at the list latest version that I've circulated, whether this, we're comfortable with the area that um, we're covering, and um, and then if 
everyone thinks this is okay, then um, let, let's fix this. But then I think the general agreement is that we don't want to go too overly broad beyond our, you know, what's relevant to us regarding the DNS itself. And then we cover both, um, you know, this DNS related to, um, to the reverse zone and then also on the, on the stability and resiliency of the INN numbering services. Okay, it seems that, um, so I see uh, Paul and Michael's comment, and it seems that everyone is in a, a agreement with this um, direction. Um, so it's great. I think now it's a matter of um, reviewing the text, whether it reflects um, um, intention adequately. So um, I think these are pretty much the point that I would like to highlight regarding the additional edits and all other uh, changes that that I've made um, since the last update is that it's just like, I don't know, change, moving one sentence or paragraph from you know, one part to the other. And I've just added a little bit of um, language for question um, 12 to strengthen that we support the multi-stakeholder model and the transition will be you know, enhancing this and things like this. Um, so I, I don't expect um, any controversial points. Um, so as the next step, um, maybe I would, um, so after the, um, this call, uh, which I would expect to finish by UTC um, 14, let's give it additional one hour for everybody to, to take a look. And then if no further comments on, on this, um, we will fix this um, draft. And then uh, we target to circulate um, this latest draft. Um, if everything is smooth, hopefully at UTC 13, but then it might depend on, on how much um, additional edits that um, we get. So the, the absolute deadline is that we, we circulate um, this uh, within our UTC 23 um, uh, today, uh, 26th of August. Uh, but then I would prefer to do this much earlier. So let's first tar target UTC 15 to be shared to the global list. Um, so that's uh, regarding the the comment for um, the response to ICG. Let's see if anybody feels that um, you need more time to review it. Um, uh, is everybody okay with this suggested time? Okay, I see no uh, comments. And then, oh, um, oh, thank you, John. And then I also want to um, consult you about the messaging um, to the community when we actually share this uh, draft uh, to the global list. So we would certainly uh, share this as a reference to the community in submitting their own proposal. So that's something that uh, we say, and then we also want to ask them to to spread the word to for their peers to submit comments to the ICG, and then please feel free to use this uh, Christine response um, as a reference, you know, in considering your comments. Um, and then one thing that I'd like to consult you is um, whether we um, we want to have any support expressed for the Christine comment to the ICG or not um, on the global list. So I personally, I don't think that we need to ask for any feedback about or suggested changes to our response itself. Because if people feel that you know, they, they think slightly differently from our comment, they can actually submit their own response to the ICG directly, and this is pretty much the response that we'll be submitting as the Christine. Um, so I don't think we need to ask for like uh, suggestions for edits or things like this. But whether we are going to ask them for, I don't know, explicit support um, to the to this uh, Christine response on the global list, or um, do we feel that um, this is not necessary? And if they want to express support, they can actually directly submit comments to the ICG saying that um, they support the Chris team's response, they think in line with our response. And yeah, so th these are the two possibilities that I can think of. 
so I'll stop here and then um, let's see if people have any comments about this, um, the, um, how, how we can approach this in seeking support from the community. Um, so I wasn't sure if I've been clear enough about the options. Um, okay, thank you, Nurani. So um, before I go to you, let me just be you know more clear about what is, what are the options. So either we ask the community to express support to the Chris team's comment um, to the ICG on the global list, global IANA Expo list. Or um, the second or ten, uh, option is that uh, we actually ask them to submit comment to the ICG directly, saying that they actually support the CRUS team uh, response. Or maybe there's a, a third alternative option that um, people think come up with a better idea. So let's go to Nurani. Okay, I'll jump in only because no one else jumps in. Um, well, I, I agree with that approach that I think when setting out the, the CRISP uh, response that we should say, okay, here's our response, please read it. If you feel like you can support our response, please, you know, then you can do that. You can either just say that you support, um, you can just send in a comment and say, I support the CRISP team's response. Um, in addition to that, I think, you know, in our last, last call we talked about where I tried to sort of formulate this idea that our response would be structured in such a way that the first part of our response to any question could just kind of be taken and copied and pasted. And I think, looking at uh, what we've done, I think that that is the case. Um, Maybe we can even, you know, make it clearer through formatting and maybe even, like, you know, um, let that stand out in bold so that really kind of, it's, yeah, it, it's clear that that is kind of the uh, introductory statement for each question, but that's, yeah, that's a formality. Um, and that we should say that too, that if you want to copy any parts of our response, then please feel free to do so too. Um, and then I think it's important that we say you don't have to answer all the questions and even just a general uh, comment saying, yes, I support the combined proposal or yes, I support this transition, it's useful. And then the last bit there was, was if the RIRs can um, write a draft with some sort of um, bullet points in, in support of the transition or support of various elements of, of this process, um, then that it's it's very useful too, then people can uh, copy and paste that. But I guess we can't say that in our announcement because that will come afterwards. Uh, but we can work with the RAS to do that. So those are sort of the, the approaches that I see seem um, uh, workable. Okay, um, thanks, Nurani. Um, so I think the, the point about the RIA comms is that we, we just wait for them to um, to come up with something. Um, and then I think something additional that uh, we probably want to work um, on the ICG response is that make, at this point, we actually simply make the CRIS team the part only relevant to the CRIS team in italics. But then the general comment is like not that highlighted. It's just like a standard formatting. So we might want to highlight that to make it more obvious and also make it clear in our messaging that um, they can refer to these, you know, part that is more general point and also um, highlight that uh, they don't have to answer all the questions. Um, so thank you. Um, and um, so if I actually drafted something as a, a announcement, so I'll circulate this to the Chris team list um, shortly. I probably haven't covered all the points that uh, Nurani has raised, but then I think it would be nice if I, I just circulate it uh, quickly so that people can add and um, give feedback. So I'll uh, thank you, Michael, for your comment that maybe a hybrid um, to ask for support, but invite them to um, the community to um, comment directly to the ICG if they have any other comments. So maybe 
in, in the case when they have any other comments, they, they can actually um, submit comments to the ICG. So I see hand from Andre and support from John about this idea. So let's go to Andre. Hi, um, thank you, Noreen. Uh, Izumi, uh, I think formally speaking, I think we need to apply the same approach as we applied when developing the CRISP proposal. Because right now we're coming, commenting, I think what is expected is community consensus on the combined proposal going forward. And I think if that's the case, if we agree that's the approach, we should make it very, very clear that that's what we're expecting from the community. As with Chris' proposal, everyone was, or any other proposal, anyone is, is, is able to comment on specific elements or on the proposal as a whole as an individual. I think what is expected is a sort of community sense of, um, of the direction. Uh, yeah, that's my comment. Right. Um, thank you, Andre. I think that's a, that's a very good point to highlight. So it would be good to have a sense of support um, that um, our comment we submit to the ICG does have support from the number community. So of course people are still welcome to you know submit individual comments and this might be um, in fact consistent with what we say with I don't know slight you know revisions and like certain variations. But um, at the same time, it's important that we are able to see that um, the comments that we submit to the ICG does um, you know, have support from the numbers community. Um, so I think that's something um, that we also want to um, um, explicitly seek for. So I see hand from Paul. Okay, thanks, Narati. <laughs> Thanks, Azumi. <laughs> Sorry, I just did what Andre did. Um, I'm actually, I, I agree very much with, with Andre here. I don't think we should change the game plan at this point. We've, we've been pretty consistent with how we ask for support. I think that we have been given, as a CRISP team, the mandate to actually go ahead and do this work and then come back to the community. They're trusting that we're coming back with something that's very sound based on what we know they all, what, what, what we know they want to see. So I think we should have a bit of trust in our work as well. So without changing it up too much, uh, I think Andre is making a very good point. This, you know, the stability within our communication and the consistency of that is important. So yes, I think we should stand behind this and ask the community to support this. It isn't anything that's rocket science. I mean, we are standing beside the principles that they have all agreed, right? Even these pieces. So of course there can be something, and you did mention this, Izumi. There could be something that points people to, to, to comment on their own at ICG if they want to over and above this with whatever else they want to do. That is, of course, any, anyone's uh, given choice at any time. But for this specific piece, I think we want to seek the support from the community so that we can just we can be confident that we're putting it forward. Yep. Thank you, and uh, great to have the specific points um, um, that is consistent with Andre. Uh, so let's go to um, Andre. Yeah, I just forgot to mention, uh, uh, this is just a remark that ITF, IANA Plan Working Group are working on the statement that is consensus um, in, in that working group. Um, they, I think they have chosen not to uh, provide an extensive uh, review and answer all the questions, but on the general, que general statement of support or hopefully support for the combined proposal. So um, I think at least that should, 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 we should, should try to achieve. Uh, I have a question, although, about the timeline. I think if we ask for support from the community, I think we should be also prepared to um, incorporate possible feedback that comes from the community. Do we have time uh, for that or not? How realistic is that? Mm, oh, that's a good question. So my initial thinking was that um, I was thinking that this is very much the Chris team response. So it's important that we the community feels comfortable uh, with how we respond, but I wasn't necessarily um, thinking of seeking for specific suggestion or feedback. And the reason uh, for this is that um, if community 
any of the community members feel slightly differently um, about this, um, then they can actually submit their own comments. So that's like very broad general principle thinking. But uh, having said that, it, um, suppose that there are several community members who, who don't agree with this, and then you know by not us by us not changing it, it might I don't know like put par barrier for this member to express support. In that case, that um, yeah, how how do we address it? That would be um, the question. And um, to be honest. I think we're pretty tight on the timeline. So if we are going to open up, like the, you know, um, the feedback for suggestion from scratch, I don't know if we're going to have time for that. Um, so we may be able to, I don't know, accept. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's hard to judge what would be the substantial and what would be the kind of um, feedback that um, we can incorporate. So that that is more of my preferred approach. That uh, so this will stick. We'll just make this the the Christine response, and then it, uh, we uh, we actually welcome support from anybody who are able to express support to the current version as it is, and um, and of course um, they can actually add any other comments to the ICG directly themselves. They can do both, express support for the team comments as well as submit their own um, um, uh, make their own submission. So that's that's my personal suggestion, but I do also you know see the need about um, trying to be accommodating to the community feedback as much as possible. So do people think that this would be reasonable enough or do you think we're not being democratic enough um, so let's um, let's hear um, if people have any other comments. Uh, so let's go to Nurani. Well, I guess um, I guess it depends on how we see this submission, and I guess we should have had this discussion at this before we started crafting our response. Um, but I realized we were all very busy. Uh, a lot of us are very busy coming back from our summer holidays with, with other things. Um, I found it a little bit tricky. I mean, I certainly understand Andre's uh, point, and in a way, that would be a neat way of doing it. That we, but, but I also feel that our response has not been crafted by the community. I mean, the proposal was crafted by the community in that we had all been discussing what we, you know, the elements of, of the proposal. And then as, as regional representatives, we brought that into the CRISP team. This analysis is something that we haven't discussed with the community. So I find it a little bit hard, I could, a little bit hard to go through that same process for this um, the submission because I could certainly see even if we had another half year that we would end up in, in a huge group edit uh, sort of situation where everyone has opinions on, on um, how to how to respond to each and every question um, and I also think we did say that this was the crisp team uh, response it was not you know when we have not been if it was the community's response, I think we should have approached it differently. We should have had like a, we should have had some sort of public comment period. Maybe we should have crafted some questions to the community and then gathered those and then that should have resulted in text. Um, but first of all, we didn't have, the public comment period wasn't long enough to do that. But also, um, we haven't done that, right? This is all, um, what we as as uh, um, sad, sad sad Ayana transition nerds think about the the command proposal. So I find it a little bit hard actually to seek to try to seek some sort of consensus like we did with the proposal. I think we need to. Um, I think the only pragmatic way to to go about this is to try, you know, to try to write as as good of a response as possible. Uh, comment on the things we can and, and not comment on the things we can't and say this is our assessment as the CRISP team 
Um, I do agree it's a little bit, uh, it comes back to really what's our mandate, right? What, what are we, what were we <laughs> elected to do? Uh, and I'm, I agree that that's a bit of a gray zone there. But I think what we can do is to put this to the community and then if people want to say, yep, I totally agree with all that, uh, fine. If they want to copy all our text, fine. If they want to say exactly what we've said, but then under question six, say something else, then, then they can do that. But I don't think we can necessarily be the channel that in the way we, we were for the proposal. And maybe we need to be very clear about that too, that we're not claiming to be the channel. Uh, this is our assessment. And if you have other opinions, please say so directly to the ITT. But I'm really happy to, to discuss this. It's just my initial reaction, um, given the discussion here. Uh, thanks, Nurani. I think you've um, elaborated very well on um, my, uh, my initial thinking. And um, so I see a hand from Andre. So I want to add a little bit of my observation after Andre. So Andre, would you like to um, go? Uh, thanks, Suzumi. No, I, I think I, what I wanted to say, I commented on in the chat. I, I, I think, yes, in, in a perfect world, I uh, would go probably differently about that, but at current current phase, it was current timeline. I think what Rani described is the best uh, thing we can do at this point. Um, I'm not sure what the expectations of the ECG are, whether they expect uh, just general comments from different parties and groups and individuals, or they expect some expression of support from communities. Um, if the letter is the requirement, then we, we can't say this is a community uh, support that uh, that certain support from the community on the crisp response, but I hope that's not that black and white in crisp in in the ICG either. Thank you, Andre. I think that leads really nicely into what I wanted to say. I think this um, how how we submit our comments to the ICG is different from our positions positioned differently from the submission of a proposal as well as the observations that we're making uh, on the SLA and review um, review committee charter that we give to um, the NROEC. So I think on, um, on the first point about the proposal, we are of course expected to hear feedback from the community and we're expected to consolidate um, you know, the feedback from the community. So, you know, we certainly have to hear from the community, right? And then, um, like, uh, on the observation about the implementation, whether this is consistent with a proposal. Again, we are the one who drafted the proposal from the numbers community perspective. And then we were actually specifically requested from the ICG to help sort of like, um, you know, facilitate the community discussions and try to fi find a direction. But then with this particular um, public comment from the ICG, I think we're just one like uh, organization, or well, we're not like an organization as in like a legal entity, but then we're just one body, one of the many um, submitters uh, of the comments, just as you know, um, any other members of the community. Of course, we're not exactly the same, that it might have more weight as, a, as a, we are a body that, um, you know, are representing um, the number community, but I don't think the ICG is expecting us to consolidate the feedback from the community and then uh, we, we submit it, um, this to the ICG. So my current understanding is that so this has not explicitly been asked by the ICG, and my my understanding and assumption had been that um, we are sort of like um, expected to encourage the community, the numbers community, to uh, submit a comment to the ICG. But I don't think our comment will be seen as, you know, the Christine comment equals representing of the number community. So we might want to be a little bit more clear in our response to the ICG that this is the comment as the Christine and not as a number community, um, we might want to put that as introduction. Um, but I think as long as we're clear about that, um, I, I don't think uh, we're, um, I think we're being accountable enough to the numbers community. Uh, so thank you, Michael, for this observation. Um, 
yeah, I think the context of the proposal and the comments is a bit different. Um, so I guess that's the summary um, on how we, we handle this. And um, let's um, double check if people have any other observations or comments to make on this or, or possible issues, concerns that people uh, still want to raise. So I think people are agreeing with Michael. Um, so I guess we're, we're in agreement. OK, great. Um, so um, I've actually sent a draft um, of how we um, we make an announcement to the global um, list. And I think this is pretty much in line with what we've discussed. I haven't added um, all the points that Narani has raised maybe um, earlier, not to, not to this particular point, but then other earlier points that Narani has raised. So I still welcome uh, feedback on this um, draft announcement. But then on the last point that uh, we've discussed on how we actually um, handle the, the Chris team uh, draft, um, I think this is um, consistent with the discussions here and the draft that I sent. So um, I welcome again our feedback on this uh, draft um, until UTC 13 and then um, see if there's any comments. And if nothing fundamental, no major changes, then I'd like to circulate this to the um, global list afterwards. OK, I'm conscious of time. And um, thank you all for your feedback, as well as I think at the end, everybody agreeing with this uh, direction. So thanks. Uh, so actually, we really haven't had uh, much time for um, to cover the SLA version um, 2, which I'm aware the deadline is next Monday. Um, and I was initially um, hoping to have feedback um, on the SLA version 2 before this call. But apologies from myself that I haven't had time to take a look into the details, except for a very broad general observation that um, the CRISP team comic from version 2, version 1, has been um, adequately um, addressed. And I haven't really reviewed in details of um, additional changes made. So um, since Michael was here, I wonder if Michael could um, help us highlight some of the notable changes that uh, might be worth you know, paying attention from version 1. Um, would that be possible, Michael? I'm sorry to you know, put you on the spot immediately before, you know, without advance warning. Um, I don't know if this is possible. Um, if not, um, let me, yeah. OK, sure, I understand. No problem, Michael. Um, OK, that would be really helpful. Thank you. So right, right up for the group. Um, yeah, maybe just you know, major bullet points on something to note so that um, the team can you know, pay attention to those points in particular when reviewing the draft. And so I, do, I would like to ask everybody to um, give in your comment um, yeah, within, I guess, if we want to incorporate all the comments, this is needed in, um, in 20 hours' time, actually, by um, tomorrow, so Thursday, the um, 27th. And then we need to compile all the comments uh, within 28th. And then we need to submit this to um, NRC on Monday, the 31st. So. We are pretty tight, uh, but I, I really want to encourage everybody to share your comments, and I'll do the same. So my apologies that I haven't been able to do that. Um, well, thank you very much, Michael. 
um, to um, offer to circulate the key points on the changes to consider. That's really helpful. So I would ask everybody to give in comments um, 24 hours from now, so by UTC 14 um, tomorrow, Thursday the 27th of um, August. Uh, so that's on the SLA. And in addition to the specific comments about the SLA, um, I think we want to make a general um, confirmation about the next step. Um, so one is that, so what would be the next step that um, we, can, we should expect um, regarding this? So I assume that then RIRs will then go into um, negotiation with ICANN based on this, and then um, I don't know what would be the next step afterwards. So this is, I think, we probably want to ask RIRs to be clear about what are the expected uh, next steps and then maybe a rough target timeline if possible. So this is something that we probably want to ask the RIRs for clarity um, on behalf of the numbers community uh, so that um, you know people know what's going to happen in the coming steps. So that's one point. And um, another thing is that um, um, so how do we actually um, ensure that um, the final um, implementation details would be consistent with the with the proposal. So um, I th I'm sure that you know RARs and ICAM will need to you know negotiate on the language and details of the implementation would you know be at, at, up to RARs and ICAM themselves. But then, um, if there are anything that affects what's being proposed, how do you actually ensure? Um, Ensure this. So we're not going to ask this kind of question, but uh, maybe a general observation that uh, so we would be expecting that um, this would be consistent with the proposal. So that's just like um, um, you know my my thinking about a general comment to add in addition to the specific contents about um, SLA version two. Let's see if um, people have any comments about um, this. And um, if not, I think we're covered on the agenda for today. Uh, and um, Herman, do we are we clear about our next um, call? The date for the next call. To me, um, there is uh, still a poll uh, open. You have the proposal to be the fourth or the seventh of September. Uh, we still have a few days before we can close that, but uh, it will depend on the result of the poll. All right, thank you. Um, I think the initial idea behind this was that uh, so this is just before the deadline for the ICG submission, and we may be um, expecting some feedback from the community about uh, this, but I don't know if this is needed at this point. Okay. Um, so, um, I don't know. If people don't feel the need, maybe we can go back to the regular um, um, schedule. So, my initial thinking for suggesting this additional call was um, to make sure that we're, we have time to discuss about the submission to the ICG. But um, given the direction that we discussed at the call today, I'm not sure if this is needed. Um, so if people don't feel the need for this, um, let's just go for the regular call schedule. So, um, well, thank you for um, for the poll and apologies for the change. But uh, let's go to the. I'll go back to the regular call schedule. Mm -hmm. And in that case, the next schedule, uh, regular uh, teleconference uh, will mm -hmm. be on. Uh, uh, September 10th, Thursday. September 10th. Okay. Right. Okay. I think that that's all right. Uh, so thank you very much. Um, and let's see if anybody have any last comments about you know anything in general.
And if not, um, thanks very much, everyone, for joining. And um, so uh, let's stay engaged about the comment to the ICG as well as the SLA version, too. Um, so thanks, all. Thank you. Thank right. you. Bye-bye, everyone.